need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. The work and material resource types that you've created in the previous lessons in this chapter can have default costs and or pay rates associated with them. This assists you in recording the costs associated with completing your tasks. This information can help you keep your project within its financial constraints and help you improve your future estimates of costs involved with certain tasks within your projects. You can enter the default costing information of a resource directly into the resource sheet view of a project file. For work type resources that are also people resources, you can enter their default pay rates into the standard rate and overtime rate fields that appear within the resource sheet view in Microsoft Project. For material resources, you can enter a rate that's based on use or consumption of the material resource. Many times this information is entered into a cost per use field, although you can also specify a standard rate for material resources if needed. Conversely, you can also input a cost per use value for people resources, although this is less commonly used for people resources. Now also if desired, you can select a resource from the resource sheet view and then click the Resource Information button that appears within the Properties button group on the Resource tab in the ribbon to open the Resource Information dialog box. Within this dialog box, you can click the Costs tab to enter detailed costing information. On the Costs tab, you can set detailed costing information that you cannot set by simply using the cells that are available in the Resource Sheet view. On the Costs tab, you can enter the same rate information that you have available in the Resource Sheet view. However, you can also specify different rates based on different dates by entering the date that the new rates are to take effect into the Effective Date column, and then entering the new rates as of that date into the columns to the right. Note that you are entering this information into tab A within the Costs tab. You should also note that there are four other tabs that you can use to enter different pay rate tables. The different pay rates shown on the different tables can then assist you in using different pay rates for different types of work that a single work resource can perform. For example, a single work resource that earns one pay rate for painting work and another pay rate for roofing work. In this case, you can enter the two rates into these two tabs, A and B, and then switch the rate based on which type of task is being performed. Also note that for costing data, you can indicate when you want the cost to be incurred by using the Cost Accrual drop-down. This will tell Microsoft Project when to report the costs as being incurred for this resource. The default value is prorated meaning the cost will be shown as the work is accomplished. However, you can also incur the entire cost at the start or end of the assigned task. Once you've set the desired costing data within the Costs tab of the Resource Information dialog box, be sure to click the OK button in the dialog box to save your changes. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www dot forward slash enterprise dash licensing